Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a password protected file and even a more secure way on a password protected file. So, first off, what you want to do is you want to make a new folder and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Secret. So, don't know if I spelled that right, but once you've done that, then you want to go to Applications, Applications go down to utilities then in there you should have a disk app utility click that then once that's downloading you want to go to file new disk image folder once you have that then you want to go your desktop then you want to look for the folder secret or whatever you named yours so then you're gonna click on secret image so then on the image format you want to go read and write and on the encryption you want to do 128 bit AES encryption recommended click on that save so after you save that then you will get this that will pop up and make whatever your password you want it to be I'm going to click password just cause I'm just going to delete this after this video. Uncheck this because then there's there just, just ruins the whole point of it. Uncheck that. Press OK. Creating the image. Let this load. OK, once you're done with that, you can exit out that. Then you will move this to trash. Open this, then you're gonna have to type in pass word. Do, do, do. Then this will pop up. Open that, and this is where you can hide your. And this is where all your secret files go. Then, when you're done with it, make sure that you eject. Because normally, when you have things open like that so I'll show you for example click on the dot DMG password then that'll come and it'll pop up right there so to prevent that eject okay so another way that you guys can make this even secret or <laughs> if that's even a word command shift 4 then you'll get this little thing on here so then you want to select the picture of your desktop. Open that picture and then you want to click command A then backspace. Then after when you have that and everything's gone you want to select a position in this gray page. Then you want to click go to file or edit my bad edit and click copy. If you don't want to do that you can just click command C. Once you have that you don't have to save it. Move that to trash. Then what you want to do is you want to open this, or you want to right click this, get info. Then what you want to do is you want to click this until it is outlined in blue. You want to click Command V, or you can go Edit Paste. I'm going to click Command V. Then there will be nothing left there. It'll be blank. So then what you can do is you can press Enter backspace place that with spaces it is not fully gone but it is easier for that to be gone it is harder to find and to open it you do have to click on the dot dng part otherwise if you go like this and click that it will just go away so then once you open this and you type in your password this will pop up so what you want to do with that again so you want to right click, get info, click this until it has blue around it. Then you want to click Command V. Then that will be blank, just like the other one. Then you'll click that, fill that with spaces. Then that is totally secret. So you can, it's very hard to find that. So, 
same thing with the DMG file. You can't click on the blank black square. Otherwise, it'll just go away. You have to click on the whatever color your highlighter is with your mouse. You have to click that to open it. So, then you have that. Then you can make a new folder in here. Items, I'm just going to, or I can do it. Secret items. Okay. That. Open this. Then you could do make like five folders, and then if you pick one, new folder, name it one, make another folder, two, make another folder, three, another. And you can make another. Five. Ah, crap. Five. So, then in one of those, I'm going to click three. Then you can make another five folders. That could be new folder. Make it that one. Make it this one. I'm going to make it this one. And what? Make it something realistic like documents. Or you could put uh, Mac settings. Make it something for real. And you could do this one. Now that I have something at the top of my mind, I can make it, um, sync services, no space, so I'll have to pick one of those, I'll just pick sync services, then, and there, finally, you can have your stuff, so, like I said, then you want to eject this, then that will be gone. So then you're going to click on this, go through it again, password, then this will come up, open that, pick three, this one, change services, then you will have that. So, yeah, that is very protected. I don't get how you could get it any more protected. So, yeah, guys. And that is it on how to make password protected and hidden files on your Mac. So, yeah guys. Bye.